Hey everyone, good morning. It's Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar. This is the place where I can teach you to make extra money every week on a consistent basis trading the S&P E-minis market. Yes, it can be done. No, it can't be done by everyone. And no, it definitely can't be done if you do not get an education on how to do this. So with that being said, let's just jump into the, into to the start of today. It's Monday morning, March 20th. Uh, it's a Wednesday. And this is the um, one day chart of the S&P futures. This isn't the mini chart. Uh, and, and today I'm going to be uh, working with this chart uh, in, in a paper trading mode. So I just want to uh, get that uh, out in front of you. But the E-minis and the uh, S&Ps trade uh, very, in, a, in a very parallel uh, manner. At, at any rate, I want to go through a couple of um, uh, issues. And, and this is, again, a one-day chart. I want to call your attention to where we are, to where the market is. Uh, yesterday, the market ended just about flat. And I want to show you a big picture of where the market is at. Right now, we're at 28.32 is where it closed. And notice that we're at an equilibrium point that was established back in, in back last summer. This is July and August uh, equilibrium. And we're back at that point right now. Whether that becomes a, uh, a resistance level, I, I don't know. Now that I've just taken you through that little jaunt uh, back to last summer when the weather was beautiful. I want to go into the 15-minute chart. Okay, so this is yesterday's action on a 15-minute scale. Uh, I want to call your attention to the gyrations of the market. The market gapped up, indicating a nice, uh, a nice move on the part of the bulls, thinking that uh, things were great. Yesterday, there was a really an announcement of the new factory orders, which was basically it showed it showed uh, factory orders were basically flat and not no real change, one tenth of one percent. So the market gapped up and stayed there for about mm, an hour and a half, and then at ten thirty, uh, the market fell back a bit, and ten forty five went back up to about the midpoint of where it was trading. And then notice this, during the lunch period, it climbed up nicely. And you'll notice this reverse hammer up here. This is a telltale sign. And remember, telltale signs with hammers, uh, take them with a grain of salt. But nevertheless, this is a telltale sign of uh, capitulation by the bulls. But look what happened throughout the afternoon. First, the market fell from 28.50 about to, and then down to 28.37, and then recovered to 28.43 at uh, 12.45. And look what happened after 12.45. You'd think that with that nice recovery that the bulls were back in control, but no. Uh, the bears took it down again, stabilized, double bounce. You, you guys, if you took my course at uh, timelessdollar.com, if you took my course, you'd know how to read this action. Uh, it stabilized over here, and then it bounced down at three at three o'clock. This is this is about two forty-five right here, and continued declining past the point where it closed the previous day, and then recovered and closed just down a little bit from the previous day. Now. What's the method to this madness? You'd say, wow, the market gapped up. Uh, there, there wasn't any really bad news, but then the market collapsed. What happened here? I'll tell you what happened here. Today, March 20th, the Federal, Federal Reserve announces the results of their meeting in, in terms of uh, their view on raising or lowering interest rates. And it's this is a this is probably the worst kept secret right now, but they're expected to do nothing to keep interest rates unchanged and then to issue a report saying that they're going to be patiently watching economic activity. So basically, uh, if the market were to expect good news, the uh, that interest rates were going to be stable or even dr drop, which nobody expects that. If that were the case, the market would shoot up because low interest rates uh, low interest rates promote economic activity and it keeps businesses borrowing and at low rates so that's good for the 
S&P. Still, the market, and that's what, what you would expect, but the market fell down. Now, why did it fall down? I'll speculate here, and, and this costs me nothing, so take it with a grain of salt. I'll speculate here that the market was taken down in order to go up today after the Federal Reserve announcement. I'll bet you a dollar to a donut. My dollar, your donut. Uh, no, I'm not going to bet a dollar. <laughs> at, at any rate, it's uh, 9.33. The market just opened. Hmm. The market just opened. And um, down a bit. It's it's going to bounce around here, my, my sense is. There's no bad news out there. It's basically, uh, so what else is new? Uh, I'm willing to speculate that the market is going to be basically flat within a small trading range up until that Federal Reserve announcement. And then with the expectation that the announcement is going to hold interest rates steady and the Federal Reserve is not going to announce anything that would spook the market in terms of raising the rates, I think this market is going to end up today. So let's just uh, hold off and see what the, what develops. Right now, I'm not going to trade this right now. Um, this is all this is all a wait and see game. It's 9:34, to, uh, Wednesday, March 20th. This is Mar Rising from Timeless Dollar. Remember, if you want to make some extra money every week, uh, and you're not afraid to take a chance on learning a new skill. This may be something that you would want to look into. So go to my site at timelessdollar.com, check out my course, and you never know. This could be the answer to your financial prayers. Marv Eisen, timelessdollar.com. I'll see you a little later in the day.